Prosecutors will decide whether to bring charges after the death of a child inside a hotel pool. The three-year-old drowned at the Quality Inn on Cedar Bluff. Knoxville police say the child was left in the care of other young children. This marks the third child to die at that hotel pool in the last four years. And many of you are asking about the responsibility of the hotel to keep kids safe. Hotel employees showed 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan around that pool today. He joins us now with the safety measures they have in place. Cole. Robin and John, the pool has signs that say children must have an adult with them while they're there. But a lawyer says with water park attractions like this so slide, a sign might not be enough. The signs read no lifeguard on duty, but Saturday police say there were no adults nearby either. A three year old boy was found under the water and died at the hospital. This isn't the first time. He saw the small child pulled him out and started CPR. She says no one saw the boy's body at first. Three kids have died at the pool at the Quality Inn on Cedar Bluff in the past four years. If you're going to have something that children are going to be inclined to come visit and play in, then you have to take a little bit more responsibility than just merely a sign. Hotel employees showed us the life preserver and the child lock gate at the pool, and they say it's inspected monthly by the state. We showed Knoxville attorney T. Scott Jones the signs. He says they might not be enough. I don't think that absolves them of liability. I mean, these type signs are expected and they are uh, normally displayed in areas in which there is a pool, but it doesn't absolve you of liability. Police say the child that died this weekend was with three other kids, family members, all under the age of seven. Police say the relative caring for them was not at the pool. Certainly the parent should be responsible for the child, but you can't absolve yourself of all liability simply because of the fact that you posted a sign. The pool has slides and a waterfall, but a hotel employee says the child who died over the weekend was found in the seven foot deep adult section. The district attorney will soon decide if there should be criminal charges, but Jones doesn't think that's likely. We always want to look to blame someone, and there may, in fact, not be any blame here. We reached out to the company that owns the Quality Inn multiple times, but they didn't return our calls. Hotel employees didn't want to go on camera. Robin and John. Cole, thank you.